Hey everyone, welcome to Lost Hemisphere. This is Faulty, and we're uh, still here live at uh, Lock and Load 2012. I'm joined here by Meg Maples. She's a staff painter with uh, Privateer Press. Hi everyone. So Meg, uh, you've now been with the in the P3 studio for I guess about a year. Um, how are you settling in? Well, I'm settling in okay. The biggest challenge to settling in has actually been learning the toothbrush blending method. Um, I used to do nothing but glazing and thin layers before, which takes a lot of time. And toothbrush blending is actually a faster method for getting uh, bigger jumps in color and getting smooth blend still. So that's been the biggest challenge. The second biggest challenge has been learning to paint in a room full of people that like to talk. So you're, I guess it's a sort of an open uh, painting room, and there's you, and there's, there's, I guess Matt and the Matt. sculptors, and so it's all of us together. And so oh, so it's like a giant arts and crafts. It of... really is. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, we've seen some of the big new releases here. It yeah. Have been the Colossals and the soon to come out uh, Gargantuans. Yeah. Um, have you gotten to paint any of these? I've painted the Mountain King that's in the Colossal Diorama, or the Gargantuan in Colossal Diorama, and uh, that one was a lot of fun. That was a bit of a challenge, though, just with how big it is. So, so where do you start on a model like that? It's, what's the big, the hardest part? The hardest part was trying to figure out where to start on the model, and so I chose to do the skin first. So I airbrushed all of that, and then I hand painted all of the rocks and the welts and the chains. Okay. And so, uh, some of you guys may have seen that she's in there painting a, a Signar Stormwall right now. Um, so I assume there's similar challenges, but is, it, is there a big difference between, say, a giant uh, robot like a Colossal and a more organic form like, uh, say, a mountain? The, there's no real big difference because they're still huge models and they're very detailed, but uh, when you're getting ready to paint one of these things, you really just have to, like, get, stop thinking about it. It's kind of Taking that first step. Yep, just take that first step, plunge right in, and go. And so, what would your best advice be to someone uh, just looking to get into painting, or maybe cracking their first big model? Any any sort of those big challenges? Ask questions. Find other painters either in the area or online, and just fire questions away at them. Especially if it's somebody that has a painting style that you admire and you want to try and emulate. Ask them how they do things. Ask them for their advice on how to paint a certain model. That's the most valuable source that you have is other painters. Okay. Uh, completely subjective here. Uh, what is your favorite faction to paint and why? So far, I've really enjoyed painting Scorn just because it is so complicated. Um, particularly the larger war beasts, just because they still have a lot of detail on them, but the detail is bigger, so it's a little bit easier to paint. Okay. Um, and so I guess the last thing, uh, given that your uh, your eight to five is, is painting, it's in the arts and crafts room. Yep. You paint all day. How do you stay motivated to paint your own models, or do you even? <laughs> I do, and uh, the way I stay motivated is by picking a mini that really like, gets me jazzed, one that really speaks to me, and I'm just gung ho to see it through to completion. If I'm feeling just a little iffy on the model, it's probably like just not gonna end up getting. And that just changes from, you know, day to day, month to month, as to what might interest me at that time. So what was your last, man, that's interesting, I'm going to paint it. The last thing, well, I've been working on a project for my dad for a while, it's a Awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, well thank you very much. And everyone stay welcome. tuned for more live coverage here at Lock and Load 2012 with Lost Hemisphere.